Hello everybody and welcome to my island Puerto Rico. My name is Silvet from Silvet Travels and today my husband and I will be driving to the old San Juan. We are not going to walk only just drive because I want to see the Calle Fortaleza. This is where the umbrellas are. Here I am entering the Tunnel of Minilla and this is how I see the exit. First exit is Ocean Park. Then the second exit is Isla Verde and if you stay in the left you will enter Old San Juan. So this is how I see the three exits from the Tunnel Minilla. Very easy to remind and what I wanted to tell you about is that in Calle Fortaleza, where the umbrellas are, that every tourist goes to take pictures with the umbrellas. This time, they were not umbrellas. This time, were butterflies. So, they were pink and really pretty and beautiful. And I wanted to go and see it to make a video and have some photos because every time they change, I go and see what's new in Calle Fortaleza. So, I really hope you love this video. If you're new and you are not subscribed, please subscribe. Did you know that 95% of the people that watch my YouTube channel are not subscribed? So do it, it's free and you will see a lot of videos from Puerto Rico. I travel a lot with my husband and we love to see different places from Puerto Rico. And for me, this is a very, very passion hobby that I, that I have right now. And I really wanted to take you with me to travel along my island. So um, leave me in the comments if you love my videos and what do you want to see from Puerto Rico so I can put it on my list. I have a lot of things to do on that list. So, um, especially, I am so happy that summer is coming, so I wanted to do a lot of the things that are on my Puerto Rican list. So here I wrote the worst day to drive to Old San Juan is Sunday, and yes, that is true. It, it is the most traffic day to enter to San Juan, Old San Juan. So um, here you will see um, Viejo San Juan number one and Viejo San Juan 240, 225R. If you go to the 25R, you will be entering from the part of La Perla El Morro. If you enter to the number one, that is the area where the cruises port are, the Plaza de Arcenas are, and where the parkings are. So you will see a lot of parking in that area. I think they have like four parking. Four of them are um, in buildings. And the other one is at, oh my God, La Puntilla. I almost forgot La Puntilla so La Puntilla is where the Paseo La Princesa is so in the morrow you have a parking but I really don't like that parking I don't know why I feel so claustrophobic in that parking <laughs> I never park there I prefer to walk so um, here we are in the traffic and this is the Hotel Normandy the Hotel Normandy was abandoned for a long time and someone just buy it so I think they are remodeling the hotel that hotel structure it's like a boat because the fun fact history is that the owner that built that um, hotel Normandy he found the love of her life in a cruise and they got married and as a love promise he built 
the Normandy in the shape of the cruise ship. So I think that's the story. If you want to know more about Puerto Rico and Silvet Travels, I recommend you to be part of my VIP list. It's an email list where you will be receiving information about what's going on in Puerto Rico and Silvet Travels. So the link will be in the description down below. This is a free email list. So come and be part of my VIP list. So if you want to enter to La Perla El Morro, you will need to go to your right, but because I am going to Calle Fortaleza, I want to skip that traffic and go direct to the Calle Fortaleza. That is the right that I told you and this is the direct that I told you to Calle Fortaleza. So um, if you drive all the way direct, you will be in front of um, a government office and then you will turn obligatory to your left. Then you will park the car so you can walk and see the umbrellas so i my husband stay in the car because there is no parking in that street so my husband stay in the car and i just got out and um saw the butterflies umbrellas so if you are traveling i do not suggest to do this trip because i do it because i go a lot to El Morro so I just wanted to see that area so this is the part when you go to the left in the obligatory left and I park the car um, just like a few walks from here and then I walk the Calle Fortaleza to the right so I am seeing the umbrellas and another thing that I wanted to tell you is that all the gift shops that are in the street of Fortaleza are the best one. If you want to buy some gifts from Puerto Rico, decoration for your house, 
from things from Puerto Rico this is the best place to go and I recommend it 100% some of them are a little bit pricey because they are handmade but they are unique and believe me this is the only place that you will find them so if you see something buy it because you are not going to see those handmade wall decorations I want to buy so badly the one with the cobblestones in shape of the heart I have been looking that decoration for so long and I wanted to have it on my home so one day I'm, I am going to buy it I have seen a few of these things in Plaza Las Americas on the third floor and in the first floor in front of Starbucks there is like a mini kiosk with a lot of things just like that so if you're not going to Old San Juan maybe in Plaza Las Americas you can find it I was so happy to see the butterflies in the umbrella spot and um, they look beautiful and this time they let you in under the umbrellas because in other occasion you can step in the area just because right down the street is the governor mansion and for precautions sometimes they don't let people in under the umbrellas but this time was open and I love it because I appreciate the view more better so enjoy the butterfly umbrellas If you like the butterfly decoration in Calle Fortaleza, please give us a like and subscribe, it's free and be part of my VIP list. The link is in the description down below.
now we're driving out of the old San Juan but first I tell my husband that I want to make a quick stop at Plaza Las Tarcenas because I love buying the cheapest <laughs> the cheapest <laughs> I'm so sorry to laugh the cheapest piña colada it's not the original but it's the cheapest and it tastes really good so I told my husband um, let's make the quick stop in there and I want to buy some popcorn too and he said okay um, let, let, let's make the stop so um, I always have to buy those two things every time I go in old San Juan do you have like a food obsession every time you go at some place because that happened to me when I go to old San Juan I want to eat in raices but not every time I do it but this this I do it every time I go to old San Juan so I hope you enjoyed this video please give us a like leave me a comment what is your favorite part of this video are you enjoying my videos and have you been to Puerto Rico and Old San Juan what is the favorite thing you did in Old San Juan there is so much to talk about Old San Juan let me know in the comments so thank you for watching this video and subscribing to this channel and my VIP list and see you on my next video.